Yep. These are my swollen eyes, guys. This is it. This is Shanti from Shanti TV. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it has been a week. Uh, I have graduated from wearing my sunglasses on here to my glasses. I am still experiencing um, basically inflammation uh, under my eyes and on my eyes. So I have just put on um, like some kind of moisturizer and Vaseline, actually. I'm using Vaseline on my eyes. Not in my eye, under my eye and over my eyes to help preserve some of the moisture that I need. Um, I am trying to up my daily water intake. This is just water with, it's ice water with lemon. I am really, really bad about drinking. And so I am trying to up my water. Um, I am still suffering from hives. I am hopeful that it will eventually stop. Um, all the research that I've done says that it will eventually stop, but um, that's where we're at with that. Uh, I decided to do something that I wasn't even planning on doing today. Sometimes you just need to be spontaneous in some things that you're doing. And so, um, yeah, so today we're going to talk about my small leather goods, also known as SLG collection. We're going to go through my entire collection. I have it right next to me and it's kind of like taking me aback because I, <laughs> I have a lot of small leather goods that I've collected over the years and some of them I don't even use. Uh, and so some of them really need to be on the chopping block. So I am going to go through uh, my small leather goods collection today. Uh, please excuse uh, the way I look. I am powering through this um, and uh, hopefully you will enjoy. All right, so the largest collection of items that I have in my small leather goods collection, these are all Louis Vuitton, are wallets. Um, the uh, gateway drug, if you want to call it that, to a uh, luxury Louis Vuitton collection is wallets. I, if, if I had to give everything up, bags, everything up, I would give up everything and keep an SLG. That's how much I love Louis Vuitton SLGs. Uh, I think they wear very well over time. I... Um, I just, they're, they're really, they have proven to me over the years that they last and they don't have many issues. I haven't heard of many issues. Um, we'll go through some of the wear and tear that I have on some of these, but, um, this is going to be a really long video. So I'm going to try to do this fairly quickly. So let's go through my wallet collection first. So I'm going to go, I'm going to pull out this oldie, a but a goodie. This is the original Zippy Compact Wallet, which they no longer make. Uh, I bought this when I was, uh, back in 2015, I bought this when I was in Paris. Uh, this is very special to me. Um, this is one of my favorite smaller compact wallets that I have. Um, it has several card slots. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So it's got 10 card slots. Um, plus this slot down here, it's got, you know, it's got pocket here, a slip pocket here, and cash holder here. And then it's got this little zipper area for any coins. Um, this is an amazing wallet. 
Like I said, you can't get this anymore. They decided that they were gonna make a new model and I never liked the new model. Um, but if you can find one in good condition, this is one of the OG wallets. This is, um, I think Jerusha had this. I don't know if she still has it. Hi Jerusha, if you're watching. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if she still has this, but I still have this. Uh, one of the big things that was always kind of a thing was you could put your phone in it as well and zip it up. That's my um, iPhone 13 Pro that just went in there and zipped up. So it's pretty impressive, this wallet. That is my Zippy Compact Wallet. The next longer wallet that I have is the Clemence Wallet. This is kind of a... Um, less expensive variation of like a zippy wallet. I actually still would like to get a zippy wallet. As you, as you know, as you can see, I like zippered wallets. Um, there is a feeling of, hey, everything's in here, nothing's ever gonna come out. This is very, very similar to a regular zippy wallet, except it is shorter. Um, it's got a zippered area in the middle for coins and whatever else you need. It's got uh, one, two, it's got eight. Yeah, I can count. It's got four slip pocket, uh, four credit card slots and four credit card slots. That is eight. And then it's got a slip pocket there for cash, slip pocket there for cash if you'd like. Um, very good, like traveling in terms of traveling and things like that. I want to see if the phone can fit because that's also like a thing, right? If you want to fit your phone in here, I just put my phone in there. iPhone 13, it fits in here too. So, I mean, that's like one of the really great things about Louis Vuitton wallets is um, you get to be able to put your phone in some of these longer ones. So that is really nice if you just wanna grab and go and not really have too much with you. That's kind of a nice thing to have. So this is the Clemence wallet. The rest of the wallets that I have are all small. I'm gonna go through them as fast as I can. This one is actually my dad's, who, um, my dad's wallet, he passed away back in 2015. Um, we bought this for him. He really never wore it, um, and I don't wear it either. It, it is in the Damier Graffite. I don't know the name of this wallet. This is very similar to a Zippy coin purse. Uh, very, very similar. So it's got like, you know, a pocket there. It's got area for cash there, cash there. It's got one credit card slot there, one credit card slot there, and then a slip pocket on each side. It is in the Damier Graffite, which also has the beautiful silver um, hardware. So very nice. I can't get myself to get rid of it, even though I don't use it, because um, it has some sentimental value, but maybe one day, one day maybe I'll get rid of it. Um, but yeah, that is the uh, Damier Graffite. I don't know the name of it, guys, but um, similar to a Zippy coin. All right, the next wallet that I've had for many, many, many years is the Zippy coin purse. I love, love, love this purse. <laughs> I love it. I think it's awesome. The only thing that I don't like about this is that if you are a person that doesn't like to fold your cash, this is not for you. Lately, I don't carry a lot of cash. Sometimes I do carry cash when I'm traveling. So um, because of that, you know, sometimes this is not necessarily as nice. So like for international travel, if I wanted to carry, you know, a, a little bit more cash, I probably would not carry this. But this is so great to carry in your smaller bags. I love it, love it, love it. So again, it's um, very simple. It's got, uh, let's see, one, two. So it's got four credit card slots, plenty of space for uh, cards here, cards here, 
cards or cash there. It's got a slip pocket on each side. Each side, they do not make this color anymore. I don't know why Louis Vuitton doesn't make this color anymore. Um, this is the Palme d'Amour, beautiful, beautiful red vernis, uh, zippy coin purse. So I love the zippy coin purse so much that I decided to get it in the Midnight Fuchsia. So it's got this purple and pink it's got the big LVs on this side, and then it's got the smaller LVs on this side. It's kind of like an ombre. Uh, really cute. They changed out the zipper pull. I like the old zipper pull, to be honest with you, but it's got gold hardware, exactly similar inside, except it's this beautiful. What do I have in here? I don't even know what that is. It's got this beautiful pop of, ooh, the inside has this beautiful pop of pink and it's like a very, very bright pink. Makes me very happy every time I open it. I get a lot of compliments on this wallet. The only thing about this wallet though, it's a little bit harder to match on my monogram items. So this goes better with like my plain emperant uh, bags better. Although again, I don't really have a whole bunch of things that this matches. I think this goes well with Damier Azor pieces. Um, so that is my zippy coin purse in the Midnight Fuchsia. Okay, here is an oldie but a goodie. I picked this up back in Canada, actually. This is the Helene wallet. I adore this wallet. However, this is one of the wallets that I rarely, rarely use. It's very unique. It's got a, a button closure. Um, and it's got quite a bit of room in it. It's got two credit card slots here, a slip pocket here, a slip pocket there. It's got a coin kind of, it's got a coin area here that closes with this button snap. And then you move this down and it's got another two card slots. And then it's got a place for cash. Now, this does not, um, the cash compartment does not hold US dollar bills. Like it holds US dollar bills, but it kind of sticks out because it's longer than this. <laughs> it's mostly made for <laughs> the currency that they use over in Europe. It fits better for that. Uh, this really needs to be on the chopping block. If any of you are interested in the Helene wallet, please let me know uh, because I am currently not using this. I think this would be another great wallet to put in smaller SLGs. Um, if you want to do a comparison between the Zippy coin and the Helene, it's actually slightly smaller. Uh, yeah, so I rarely use this wallet. I maybe have used it less than five times. Uh, the glazing looks okay on it. Yeah, it looks pretty good, actually. Uh, but yeah, if any of you are interested in buying the Helene wallet, let me know down below. The most recent wallet that I bought from Louis Vuitton is the Juliet wallet. So I didn't have anything in reverse and I had bought a Matisse pochette in reverse monogram. And so I wanted to buy something that was a little bit different. This is the wallet that I am currently using. I really like it. I'm very, very happy with this wallet. So it's got a button closure in the front. Uh, it's got a pocket here, which I never use. It's got room for four credit. It's got four credit card slots here. I do double them up because I have a lot of, I have a lot of cards. It's got a slip pocket there. And then it's got this, uh, area for cards, additional area for cards or for coins really like it because as you can see <laughs> i've got a ton of cards um that is yeah i carry a lot of cards not they're not all mine they actually belong some to my mom because i take care of her so uh i carry a lot of cards and that's very helpful and then what i do like about this is again 
you have uh, an area to carry your cash uh, without folding it and it's smaller. So this is the smallest wallet that I have that I don't have to fold my cash. Some people are really picky about folding cash. I don't love folding cash. I do if I need to, if I'm carrying my zippy coin, but I prefer not to. So that's why I like this Juliet wallet. Okay. I have completed all of my wallets. I'm going to move on to card cases. This is the Damier Azor Kikle. This is like a very classic Louis Vuitton piece. It could be a very good kind of entry level piece. Uh, I, yeah, I highly recommend this. So this, I'm currently not using it, has a key extension on here where you can um, have your keys on here. And this is really neat because you kind of pull that and then put your keys on. It's not one of those round ones where you're like breaking your nails to try to get your keys on. So that's really nice. I don't ever use it that way, um, but you can. And because this is canvas, you can put a lot of cards in here. So this is a good kind of overflow piece if you don't like carrying wallets, if you want something that's smaller, um, you can put your cash, your cards in here. A lot of people use that. I'm currently not using it, but this is a very, very good piece to have in your collection. I liked it so much that I got a monogram piece and this one I am currently using. It is the same thing. It is a key clay. I love it. It is, you know, just very, very functional. Um, highly recommend key clay, the Louis Vuitton key clay. The next one that I have is an oldie, but a goodie. Uh, another one that right now I haven't worn this actually in some time. This is the Palme d'Amour uh, key clay in a vernis. I have thought about letting this go. If anyone's interested, let me know. I may just let it go because I'm not using it. It is in very good condition. I got to tell you, the older Louis Vuittons, the quality very very good um yeah so this is also a key clay so it has the extension for the keys um and it's just very pretty right when you pull it out of your uh when you pull it out of your purse to have this come out it's pretty nice it's also bigger than the canvas one if you can see that slightly larger and it has a pocket on the back which is also nice it's got this slip pocket so if you wanted to have you know maybe your the card that you use most of the time on here then this is a good one to have okay my latest acquisition i got this last year um, i wanted to have kind of a flat a uh, card case that I could put in some of my smaller uh, handbags. Uh, this is the one that I bought. Uh, I believe this is from the men's collection. I wish I could tell you the name. I'll tell you right now. This is the Neo Port... Neo... I don't know. Neo something. I'll put all of these things down below if I can find them. Uh, I really like it. It's got a slip pocket here, this V1, another one here. It's got the center pockets there. I'm going to put these back in here. The um, number for this, the SKU is M60166, Neo Port Cart something or other. Uh, again, it's from the men's collection. Uh, and it's got three card slots here and then another slot here really really neat for grabbing like quickly getting stuff out of your bag and being able to like see what you have like right away that is very very that is that can be very very helpful and um just efficient right it's just efficient so it's in the monogram and the black color all right another slg that i have that I barely use anymore. I used to use this all the time. So I used to store like my cables 
in here. I would wind them up like when I was traveling, I'd wind them up and I put them in here. And now I don't even use this at all anymore. This is a round coin purse. This is um, a special edition. I don't even remember. It's got a picture of two people with a Louis Vuitton trunk and a ship. Uh, I don't remember when I got this, but gosh, this is, I, I think it's been a while. Uh, it's just a round coin purse. There is no hook. There's no nothing. The inside is this gorgeous kind of neon, almost pink color, uh, almost like a pinky orange color. It's very, very beautiful. Uh, this particular one was made in, can't see made in France. So this particular one was made in France. I don't use this. If anyone is interested in purchasing this, let me know below. I am done with my card holders. I'm moving on to my pochettes. This one is very, very near and dear to my heart. I love this. I don't wear it as much as I should, but I love it. It is the Mila Clutch in the Louis Vuitton Multicolor. This just makes me happy. <laughs> There's nothing more to say about this, but it just makes me happy. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you because it deserves some time on the screen. Um, this has uh, got a slip pocket and it's got this chain that clips to the other side and you can wear this over your shoulder like this. You can wear it in the crook of your arm. You can hold it. It's very cute. I think the biggest thing about this is I wish Louis Vuitton had made this kind of wider. It's pretty flat. It's in pristine condition. I don't get to wear it a lot, but if you wanted to get your phone in here, you could put your phone in here. Let's take a wallet, put it in there. You could probably fit like, I don't know, probably like a lippy product in here. It's just really cute. Now, the one thing here is it does have this slip pocket, so you could just not take this and just keep your cards in here. I think that's what I've done when I've carried this, just so that I can keep some real estate space for my phone. Some people hold their phone in their hand, but for me, if there are times where I wanna put my phone away, uh, so I always want really room in my, whatever I'm holding, um, I, I want room in my bag, uh, or my, I guess it's considered a small leather good. Um, I am including it in this. I guess you could not consider a small leather good, but I do. I absolutely love this. I hope Louis Vuitton does another run of multicolor. I think that would be so, so cool. All right, the next uh, small other good that I have is this gorgeous, gorgeous, barely used, very good looking, uh, Damier Azor mini pochette. Um, I really don't use this. I think, I'm afraid of using it, that's number one. And the other problem is it doesn't fit my phone. I used to use this when we had smaller phones, like so much more. Like, I, I would be able to use it better. But now that it doesn't hold my phone, you know, it, it's become more of something that goes inside your bag. So that's the thing about this, it's the mini pochette. As you guys know, Louis Vuitton has like raised their prices on this thing. Um, it clips to the side like this. It's very, very cute, super cute, but a lot of money just to kind of spend to just keep in your bag if you're not gonna wear it. Um, if, if I was gonna wear this, I'd have to know that, hey, I'm not, you know, I'm gonna be having the, my phone in my hand. So that's the deal with the mini pochette. Uh, this is the one that I am currently using. 
And I would say the biggest wear and tear that I have on this, because I wear it a lot, this is a limited edition. It's got a picture of a trunk on here. And um, I've used this almost every day. It does look like there's a little bit of wear on here. It looks like some of the print has come off. Um, but honestly, I wear this so much. Uh, I also noticed that this D-ring is not the same color anymore as the chain. The chain has kept its color very nicely, but this particular D-ring, not this one, has turned a different color, which is pretty interesting. Uh, this particular one, because it is a limited edition, has kind of this uh, red and beige stripe going through it. Fits a lot of my essentials in there that I carry around. Uh, again, very good to have in your collection, but you know, Louis Vuitton has like raised the prices of these quite a bit. And for me, if my issue is I can't carry my phone in here. So that is the mini pochette. Okay, moving on to uh, the next small leather good, which last week I talked about this bag. This is the pochette accessoire, uh, which really technically at this point with the prices, I don't know if you guys have seen um, some live pictures of the very the new model that they have brought out in the monogram. Uh, I really like it, but it's, a very, very hefty price. This is truly one of the most simple and most practical SLGs you could have because it fits a phone <laughs> and it fits a lot more. If you didn't watch my video last week, I kind of do a what fits. Um, quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of things fit in here. So I find this to be really practical. If you don't have this in your collection, I would try to find one on the secondhand market if you don't want to pay the ridiculous prices that Louis Vuitton has. I highly, highly recommend this. The last SLG that I'm going to show you is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull pouch. Yes, it's an SLG. Can you buy it separately? Yes, on the secondhand market you can. No, not on the Louis Vuitton website. But yeah, I consider this an SLG. It's probably the largest SLG I have because it came out of the Neverfull GM. But yes, you can fit quite a few things in here. Um, the biggest complaint I have in here is that it's flat. And if you put too many things on here, it gets bumpy. So that's the thing I don't like about it. But other than that, um, it's functional. You can, it's a wristlet. You can, you know, wear it that way. So. I like it. I mean, I like. I talked about it last week. I like this one. If I had to choose between this and this, I, I would choose this. But um, yeah, this is another SLG. If you have these in your uh, collection, I would call it an SLG. So that was it. Very long video. That was all of my SLGs. I hope. I hope I didn't like have a few left over in some of my bags. I did go and check my bags before I made this video, uh, but that's it. Those are all my SLGs that I have in my current collection. I hope you enjoyed this video of my SLG collection. Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them down below. If you are not subscribed to my channel, you should be. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, to help support me and thank you very much for spending your time with me this Sunday. I will talk to you next week. Ciao.